<laughs> hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch season three, episode one of The Mandalorian. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Dum dum. <laughs> I know it's not just me that's expecting that sound, right? Are we back with the with the armorer? I think we are. Yeah. Yo, the armorer is just always just dope. That presence, boy. Let me tell you. Yep. See. There's just something about you know armorers like this that just force metal to bend towards their will. Okay, somebody's getting an upgrade. Now that's a lot of Mandalorians. I'm glad to see there's a lot more though. Cause for a second, I thought a whole bunch of them were wiped out. Oh, this is a flashback. This is probably Bo-Katan's who this is. No, that's a, I can't tell. Is that a guy or a little boy or a little girl? I'm guessing that's Bo-Katan because of the, the colors of the helmet. Hey, that sounds like it's locked in. From this moment on, I shall never remove my helmet. <laughs> From this moment on, I shall never... Whoa! Like a, was that a, like a big alligator? Damn, the best guard didn't stop that. <laughs> Young one, to the cage. Get back, get back. Oh, that thing is unfazed. You gotta give Star Wars credit when it comes to some of these creatures. Like, they make them massive. Yeah, you know, like Kaiju. Damn. Yeah, when it's still alive, it was like, nah, that's not enough. An alligator turtle. That's what it looks like. Oh, yo, the death roll. Oh, yeah, let's see what the armor can do. Man, y'all might just need to just dip. Just you know, go back into the cave. Well, maybe you are in the now. I thought this might have been a flashback or something. Nice. Oh, he took a chunk out. <laughs> Meats on the table, boys. <laughs> That's a hell of an intro. And Grogu. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Creed teaches us of redemption. Redemption is no longer possible since the destruction of our homeworld. Hmm. Is this inscription not Mandalorian? <laughs> you know, Grogu's like, can I eat it? <laughs> Where did you come up? And is it just me or I could have swore the armorer was like someplace else in the book of Boba Fett. She moves around. Then by creed, the decree of exile will be lifted and I would be redeemed. So I gotta get my swag back. This is the way. Yeah, man. That's, that's Mandalorian for damn Skippy. Gonna do that. That would be cool to look at. Be it young or old, you're just in a warp tunnel. What in the world? That look, what does that look like a squid or an octopus or something? Well, that's cool. And they just cruising at that speed.
Never seen that before. Port of Navarro. Okay. Yeah, look, bro, bro, we're thinking with his stomach again. <laughs> oh, it's a tree full of them things. I always forget what they're called. But that laugh always cracks me up. Huh. Looks like one of those droids that helped him out when he was in that pinch in season one. Mando! Man, that thing just clambered down, but it, but it still is holding on to those robes, though. <laughs> Come. Let's catch up on old times. It's so good to see you. Welcome back. It doesn't even look like this. It doesn't. We've done a lot with it. Citizens have been so instrumental in making this all work. And look at this. <laughs> Live off the fat of the land. Grogu. Come again? His name is Grogu. Oh, if you say so. Come, <laughs> I want to show. He's like, whatever, man. <laughs> the little dude. Now, as I was saying, there's a beautiful parcel available right down here by the flats. I appreciate the offer, but I have some matters to look after. But you know, I'm still gang gang up in here, man. Which is all the more reason for you to stay here with us. Where you're from, you may be in a pot. You'd be landed gentry. Magistrate. High magistrate. Yes, high magistrate. He's like, man, listen, I need you to get my title right. Come on, Vane. That'll be enough of that. Grief. Carga, my old friend. Hmm. Now bring us a drink. Is there a problem here, Magistrate? <laughs> Is there a problem here? What do you think? What if you serve me a drink? Not in my school. You hear that, boys? His school. Y'all don't want to do that. You don't want these problems. Murder and mayhem inside these doors. Better be fast. Sounds like you went soft. You think so? Oh, he's like, listen, I keep the toolie on me now. <laughs> Don't let the robes fool you. <laughs> Got him. Oh, and I saved you. Cause I could have killed you. Shark. That Navarro is no longer friendly to pirates. Now get out of here. Come on. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> get out of here, Fane. Now. He's trying to help you, my guy. Go on a dip. Sure you want to let him go? He'll let it be known that Navarro is respectable now. And not to be trifled with. And not to be trifled with. Because I'm still, I still got it. I'm quick with it. Service droids scrub up our Hey, hey, my, my little grobe droids. Level with you, Mando. Don't let my mink drag. <laughs> what can we provide? Okay. I need him back. How does that happen? Well, I mean, I guess it is a robot. I need a droid I can trust to help me explore Mandalore. And he's that droid. He was a dub droid, though. Plenty of droids around here. We'll find you one, I guarantee you. Let me give it a shot. You gonna take my statue? We can rebuild him. Let's see if we can wake him up. All those complex cables, and he's got like some some regular uh, jump starter cables. <laughs> you know what does it call it when you when you hot wire something? <laughs> there you go. Um, that was pretty easy. Ah! 
Oh, well, there we go. Use a bus to bust them up. You see what I did there? See, he's using your head. I don't think I can handle him with all his limbs if things go scud. Why don't you ask him for yourself? Who? The Anselans. Oh, I didn't see the little dude either. What do you want? Somebody actually smaller than Grogu. <laughs> Grogu, please don't try to eat the little mechanics. Mando, he said he can't fix it. That's no good. I need this one. This one is my friend. It's not friend anymore. This one Pudu. He says you should get a new one. What if I find you the part? Okay, now, then no problem. We did. If you can get a new part, he says he can fix it. No! <laughs> no, Goku. Look, Goku's like, nah, man, you dinner, man. <laughs> I've had enough of this waiting. You look delicious. Safe travels. Damn. That thing sounds like it's a race car, don't it? I'm like one of them F1 cars. It is a way better upgrade than his old ship, though. Being a Mandalorian's not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy, because you never know where you might be headed next. Hmm. And this mm. is your enemy proximity warning indicator. Hang on, kid. We got pirates. Oh, uh, they remembered, huh? Mandalorian, you can't just sneak away after cutting down four of my brothers four. in cold. Made it look easy, too. After him! See my, my whip? Look at this, man. I'm sleek. Sounds like a F1 car. You ain't catching me. Somebody's hitting an asteroid. One, he's an asteroid. <laughs> Looking at all the pretty lights. Oh. Got to be more careful. Hot shots. He's making it look easy for you guys. Nice. Mandalorian to you, Captain. Uh oh. Oh, the Pirate King, Captain. What a setup. That is a gnarly looking ship. That's what pirate ships look like in the Star Wars universe. That's pretty cool. Think, Ferric. They have a target lock on us. Stop where you are. Look at this dude. You're outgunned. I have no quarrel with you, Guardian Shard. Ha! What a kind sentiment. Look at this. Who just destroyed four of my fighters. Surrender your ship and I'll spare your... He likes one thing. Kid, <laughs> never trust a pirate. We out. How did you think that was going to end? This is Kalamala. Kalamala. Another planet in the Mandalorian system. And that is a Mandalorian castle. Well, that's cool. Okay, now I remember I said Bo Katan earlier, so we'll probably see her now. That is a very empty house. You know she's still got to be a little bit bitter because he's holding on to the dark saber. Bo-Katan, it is Din Djarin. I'm here to join you. There's nothing left to join. 
Hmm. What of your plans to retake Mandalore? When I returned without the Darksaber, my forces melted away. Oh. Where is the stolen fleet? Making their way through the galaxy as mercenaries. Dang, she loves everything. I do. Then you lead them. Wave that thing around, and they'll do whatever you say. Huh. Your cult gave up on Mandalore long before the Purge. Where were you then? Mm. The children of the Watch and all the factions that came before fractured and shattered our people. Go home. There's nothing left. You're breaking my heart. That planet has been ravaged, plundered, and poisoned. You said that the curse was a lie. Make up your mind. Yeah, man, you're not doing nothing. You might as well come kick it. They're beneath the Civic Center in the city of Sundari. Thank you. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. You know you're curious. You know you want to go. We know that's not going to be the last of her. All right, now, before I hop into my review of what we just got done watching, if you want to see the entire thing uh, uncut, no interruptions, you know, you got to check out the Patreon page. It's at uh, patreon.com forward slash Sintel. But you are going to need a uh, subscription to uh, Disney Plus in order to see this particular episode because we are limited to a certain amount of picture in picture due to copyright restrictions. But it's pretty simple because we'll have a reference video at the bottom of this particular reaction on the Patreon screen where you can see like a few moments before the show starts and you can sync up your screen with this reaction, it's like, you know, watching it with one of your favorite internet pals. So it's tons of fun. There'll be additional content. It's still growing. It's going to be a wonderful place for all of us to kind of hang out. So, you know, check it out. Don't worry. There'll be a link in the description. Now, it could be the last of their friendship, you know, because that's got to rubber the wrong way. Yo, the, the alligator turtle thing, that was pretty cool. Like the old school snapping turtles. We, I, I'm from Tennessee, you know, in our creeks and rivers, we have like these big massive snapping turtles and they have that look on their face like that. But that was, well, we saw was more like an alligator slash turtle. I think this is one of my favorite parts of this. Uh, is just taking a look at some of the um, the concept art and seeing how close it kind of came with it. This was an interesting episode because uh, it didn't hop, you know, knee knee deep into uh, where we left off. It was kind of a little bit of uh, some more world building, I guess. Uh, seeing what happened after the events of the previous episodes, uh, where we got to see Cargo, who's running the city now, as like the chief or king magistrate or whatever his new title uh, is, and everything seems to be a lot more stable. You know, there's schools that he's sticking up for, but, you know, the word isn't out to everybody else in the galaxy and pirates are still coming around, you know, still trying to be like, hey, remember us, you know, we'll try to rule through fear and all that. I like that he still tried to uh, try to recruit the Mandalorian. And, you know, it's one of those things like after like a war or after a country takes over another thing, you know, they divvy up some of the land and gives like some of the best choice pieces to the people that helped the revolution or whatever it is that they helped him get in. He offered... Uh, you know, the Mandalorian, his his spot, he still remembered his old friends. But when you're a man with purpose or a woman with purpose, you want to get those things out of the way. And he still wants to be worthy of the armor that he's walking around. I think it's cool that there's like different factions and different types of Mandalorians. You have one who are kind of like religious zealots, if you will, uh, who's kind of run by the armorer who's still you know, preaching the old ways of how of how a Mandalor of how a Mandalorian should be and how they should act, how they should never show their face. You know, we have some cultures like that within, uh, you know, uh, within our own world where, you know, covering certain body parts is a way of showing respect to to your faith or whatever it is that, that you believe in. And then you have some other people who are a little bit more casual in their beliefs, but they're still, you know, Mandalorian, you know, uh, and then we, we see that with Bo-Katan, like she's and her people were like, we won't have a problem showing our face. And yes, we're still Mandalorian. And yes, we're still fighting in order uh, to, to, you know, keep the culture like in line. But sometimes the best intentions go south. And with her, she couldn't keep it together because she couldn't prove that she was the rightful, rightful heir. You know, I, I'll give her this much, though, because the only way that you can prove not the right, rightful heir, but the rightful leader of the of the people without the sword, you know, she could have easily just you know, go on the path of the dark side and then just try to fight the Mandalorian in order to take what she thought was hers. But I guess she respects him enough to let him maintain the blade. Or maybe there's also this thought too, because he doesn't care enough to actually kind of fight for it. It may not be a legitimate fight in her eyes or how her people may see it because the Mandalorian 
was so easy to just give it up, you know, last season. Like, this isn't even my, this isn't even my drive or my purpose, or my goal. I'm trying to help the child find out what he's supposed to do and, and deliver on this promise. So maybe that's another reason because she, there's no way that she could actually win, whether she fights him or she lets him lead. So I guess she just decides to just do nothing. There's no way that's gonna be the end of her because Katie Sackhoff, she's a sci-fi uh, sweetheart and just way too good to just not have her uh, into other series. She tasks him and was like, listen, if you want this to jump off and you wanna save Mandalore, you have the sword, you can lead the people, which obviously I think he's going to do. It's only gonna add so much more to his lore once he discovers that Mandalore isn't poisoned um, that it can be salvageable. Once he redeems himself by, you know, bathing into the waters of the mine, and he'll probably come out with a whole lot more Baskar, make his armor look even that much more dope, you know? So then he'll have, you know, all of the warring clans and all of the factions, you know, he would have satisfied all of those needs. You know, he's got the sword, he's got the armor, he's been redempt, he's been redeemed. Get, get everybody up, up, up and running. So I think we get a chance to see with this particular episode, the world after the fact, at least after the fact of season two. So we can see how much more it's going to change uh, after he finishes his quests. I enjoyed it. You know, it wasn't over the top. There was some great action scenes. We had some cool action scenes with in the very beginning of fighting, like, like we talked about regarding like the, the, the tortoise alligator looking thing. Uh, we had a cool little fight scene with the pirates sitting outside of the school, them coming back again with the space fighting. So there was a lot of action. And that's saying a lot considering that this episode, based off what I'm looking at, is only like 35 minutes long. If I remember right, I thought the Mandalorian was at least 40, 45 minutes per episode. So this seems to be a little bit of a shorter kind of episode, but it offered a lot. So that's all what we're kind of looking for. Nothing, you know, ground shattering or just mind blowing. You know, the earth didn't move regarding any like new reveals with this episode. But I'm sure that, you know, if you check out some additional channels like Heavy Spoilers does a really good job. Real Reactors, uh, Cinepals, they do breakdowns and stuff like that regarding some of this when you can find out, you know, some of the more detailed nuances of what's been involved in the show. Hey, that's my take for this episode. I am looking forward to the second. It's off to a good start. Nothing disappointing. We got Grogu. We got Beskar. We got fighting. We got Mandalorians. You know, we got more creatures, the kaiju kind of fights that's been going on. It's like, you know, right on par. So, yo, let me know what I got right. Let me know what I got wrong. You know, I do check out the comments and let me know if you're still excited about this as much as I am. All right, with that being said, I will catch you in the next episode.